Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the services. What are they, how we can use them, how we can make them, everything that you need to know about the services, right? So we will understand the services uh, with this diagram, but first of all, let's check out the points of the video. Uh, here you can see that we will see what is the services in Angular with diagram, then how we can make it with the command line and how we can use it. And uh, we will also cover example also, right? So now with this diagram, you can see that we have a services and there is a two arrow. That simply means this is sharing the data here, right? So services basically use when we just want to share the data between two or more components, right? And if you just want to take a casual example, uh, let's say you have a component user and uh, you just want to use the data of users here as well as one another component like users detail, right? So what you will do, you will just put the data in the both of component, but this is not a right way. We have to just put the data on a single place and fetch the data from this place to the both of component, right? So service is the, that place that we will put the data and we will fetch or we will use the data from the services in both of component, right? So yeah, component is a very vast topic. In this video, we will see that how we can use how we can make a service and fetch the data in service to component in the next video we will see what are the observable here and how we can use on the module level and how we can use the dependence dependency injections and all right so first of all let's come to the code and uh, let's clear out this console and write the command to make a service so just write here ng g for generate service and service name so let's say my service name is user users or users data whatever you just want to make so let's make it with the user so when you just hit the command then you will create the two file one is service.ts file and another one is the service.spec.ts file service.ts file where we will uh, write the logic for the service and spec.ts file will basically use to write the unit test cases right so now let's check it out inside the code yeah, one more thing that uh, you need to keep in mind, services are free in the Angular. So you cannot put them in a single component, in a single module, right? They are not uh, bind with these kind of things. They are free to move. You can just make a service and you can use in any component, any module and whatever you just want to use, right? So now let's go to the user.services.js and let's make a function, right? So just write here, get data. And here let's return some data, right? So let's return object like name can be Peter and age can be, let's say 35. And uh, ID, let's say it's ID have 100 and whatever, right? You can put any kind of data, you can put here array. We just use the object, so you can use the Boolean values uh, array and uh, normal variables, const, whatever you want. So now how we can use this data in our component? For that, we have to go inside the component and register it, right? So how we can do it? Let's go to the app.component.ts and let's import it on the top. Just import something from and the path. So here is our path, user services, and just right here, user services right let's make a constructor here and uh, in the constructor parameter let's define an access modifier like you can use a private public and whatever you want but we will use basically per, uh, private because we are using this data only in a single component right so just write here user and it will be the instance of user services. So here you can see that we inject the data from service to component, right? And now let's try to use it. So just make a console dot one and right here, this dot user. So when you just try to execute this dot user, you will find that there is a function only, right? Let's try look out the console. Uh, just reload it. And you will find this user services. There is a nothing inside it because we have to call the fetch data function here, right? So let's write here this dot user dot fetch. Uh, 
sorry get data and now try to execute it now you will find that we are able to get the beta with the age and id and everything right so let's say now you just want to display this name on uh, html so that's let's take a property you can take any name i would refer to use the name initially it will be blank and here just right here this dot name have this dot users dot get data dot name right and let's uh, just use this name property on html5 with the interpolation so let's take h2 tag interpolation and just put here name and here you can see that we got the beta right so maybe this is a very typical syntax for you and you can break it down let's take a variable or uh, anything whatever you want you can also take the const so let's take a data and assign the data from this dot user dot get data right and uh, to assign the data to the name property you can just take data dot name now this is more simplified way and this is working similar as the previous code so this is all about the service in the upcoming video we will see that how we can register the service on module level and uh, what are the uh, subscribers observables and all so don't forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching this video